Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain, and today I'm going to be sharing the top five tweaks for the week. And we had a pretty good week this week so far. Um, I think the camera is focused okay right there. I might back it up just a little bit maybe. And we can get a little bit better view on it. But anyway... Okay, right there. There we go. Alright, sorry about the delay, guys. But anyway, I wanted to get to the camera. The first one we're going to talk about is called Disable NC Switch. And what it does, if you play a lot of games, while you're inside those games, the full page, uh, you know, like here's one, for instance, Shark Bash. Okay, when it opens up, you know, it's a full screen. I know you probably have done it because I can say I have to accidentally pull down the notification sign. Well, with NC with disable NC switch, all you'll see is this little tab here, and, you, and it and it won't pull down. The uh, NC uh, notification center cannot be activated inside a full screen app, but outside. You can still pull it down just the same. You know, it doesn't affect you when you're not inside an application. As long as you're not in a full screen app, it'll work as well. Alright, up next is one called JPG to Siri. And what JPG, I call it JPEG to Siri, does is, is it allows you to search for any kind of picture that you want inside Siri. Watch this. Show me a picture of an apple. Here is a picture of apple. And you can see it works really fast too. Show me a picture of a truck. Here is a picture of truck. Show me a picture of a MacBook. Here is a picture of MacBook. And you see it does fairly well too, but sometimes you get some pretty weird pictures, you know. I was goofing off with it and got some pretty silly stuff pulled up, just acting a fool. But anyway, that's the second one. Up next is one called Siri Status. And I don't know if you've noticed while we've been messing around here with Siri, but right at the top, if you let me zoom in here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right at the top of... Siri, you can see up here, watch this. Show me a picture of a boat. You see it changed to listening, and then it goes to thinking, and then it'll go to processing, and probably when I'm where I'm talking, it's throwing it off, okay? It didn't quit. Watch this. Here is Show me a picture of a boat. Here is a picture of a boat. And you can also see up here at the top, it says try again. You can tap that if you want to engage also. But if it, you see where it says listening up there at the top. Okay. Anyway, that's called Siri status. The Sorry, I don't understand. Can you can check in? Sorry about that. The next one I want to talk about is called LS Bright Slider. And this is one of my favorites that I have found this week. And all you have to do to increase and decrease your brightness is simply put your finger on the status bar. Go right and left to increase, decrease. And you can see I've got it turned way down for the video. But you can go under the settings and even under here, go to LS brightness. Let's see. Now let's see. LS Bright Slider. I told you wrong, guys. This one, this one I'm using right now is called Swipe Bright. So scratch that, and let's. It, it's not LS Bright. It's called Swipe Bright, and that's the name of it right there. I got it confused with another tweak, so kick me in the wrong for that. But the name of it is Swipe Bright, and what it does. You can't increase and decrease inside applications. I've got mine set to where it only works on the springboard. 
and that's the setting that you've got inside of here inside swipe bright you can enable it to if you want to do it on the lock screen or restrict to springboard and see i've got it restricted to springboard and there's really no reason for that other than that's just the way i wanted it set and you see all you gotta do is increase and decrease very very handy to have and the last one i'm going to tell you about today is called eye cleaner and what eye cleaner does when you tap that icon right there it cleans up all the junk files all the log files all the things that that these coders know about that i know nothing about i'm not going to pretend to know about it all i know is when i tap that icon it cleans up all the cache you know, all the things i don't really have to have or need so when i tap it i get a respring and you can see right here it'll walk you through certain stuff if you don't want to clean it up you can touch no safari cache the cookies and history you know sometimes you might need that history okay so i'm going to tap no uh application folders i'm going to say yes and log files yes and cache yes and then when you get to the end temporary files yes and partial files yes file type and you'll get a little sign that says cleaning up junk files it'll respring when it completes and once you get that completed then you're good to go for a few more days till you get that cache and all that stuff built back up from surfing the net but that's the top tweaks for this week, guys. It was a pretty good week for Cydia applications. So don't forget to check back here. Every Tuesday, I post the top tweaks for the week. But I also post tweaks throughout the week every day. So if you want to stay up to date on everything that's happening with Apple, the iPad, the iPhone 4S, anything like that, all you got to do, check back on my site, iPhoneCaptain.com, and you'll be good to go. So don't forget, guys, hit that subscribe button. Keep coming back.